Hi, Soul family. This is Latanya with Saggy Soul. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading. Uh, this reading will be for Taurus. Taurus, happy birthday. Uh, but before I get started, let me say thank you to all of my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you, my new subscribers. Welcome, and thank you so much for subscribing. So family, thank you for uh, the shares, the likes, the dislikes, the comments, the emails. It is all energy. Uh, so family, thank you so much for leaving your comments, sharing your personal stories, uh, because of course you're helping heal others, others who are going through the same situations, similar situations, and those who'll be coming up behind the energy. All right, Taurus, so I hope you're having a great uh, uh, birthday month, birthday week, birthday day. Uh, and Taurus, we recently did have Mother's Day. Uh, I would like to say a happy belated Mother's Day. Uh, to all my females and all my divine feminines and the upright. Uh, there is a verse in the book of Proverbs, uh, chapter 31, verse 10, that talks about the noble character of a, of a wife is worth more than rubies. And so I want to say to my divine feminine who are doing the work, and when I mean doing the work, we are staying focused on ourselves. We are staying out of gossip. We're staying out of manipulation. We're staying out of things that are of low vibration. And we are releasing anything that is chaos, confusion, uh, anyone who puts you in a third party, anyone who strings you along, anyone who plays games, when you call, when you text, they don't call you back. Because I'm talking to my divine, divine feminines who are in the upright, they know their power, they know their worth. You have self-love, self-respect. You know where you're going in life. You're on your life path. You're on a journey. And so this is to my divine feminines who know that their character is noble and they are worth more than rubies. And also happy belated day to the men out there who are single fathers, who are full, full custody of their children, who are in the upright, doing the right thing, divine masculines. Uh, there's a verse in 1 John 2nd uh, chapter, verses 15 through 17, that talks about uh, three things that kills a soul and three things that disconnect you from spirit, and that is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and living a prideful life. So I'm talking to divine masculines who are very humble, and in the eyes of the Almighty, they're very righteous. I'm talking to divine masculines who uh, do not go out to social media to find out how to be a man. They already know how to be a man. Whether you're making 25,000, 30, 40, 50, 60, you are a man. In the eyes of the Father, if you are righteous, and you are humble, and you are in the upright, you're not worried about what others think because you're on your life path, doing the best that you can do, even during a pandemic. So with that being said, I send out prayers and good wishes for all my divine feminines, all my divine masculines who are doing the work and you're bowing down to the most high, the most high almighty, almighty every day and night, uh, having the attitude of gratitude and giving praise and giving thanks for the things that you do have. Okay, so this may resonate with a lot of people, maybe just one or two people, whoever is meant to hear it the most. Uh, continue to check your moon sign, rising, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, uh, even your Lilith sign, which was Adam's first wife to balance out the shadow, and the dark, right? That dark side with the good side. So I think that's about it, Taurus. Uh, I have already set my intentions. And I have already set my prayer off camera. Uh, come on now, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So I hope you're having a good week. Good weekend. Good birthday week. Good birthday today. Good birthday month. Celebrating. So Taurus, when I split the deck, let's see. I have, let's see, this is the Sun of Swords, which is just like the Knight of Swords in the reverse. And the mother of pentacles, which is just like the queen or king of pentacles. So, uh, Taurus, it looks like someone is watching you. <laughs> They're not saying anything. They're not rushing in. But they're observing you. And Taurus is, I'm talking to Tauruses who are doing good during the pandemic. You may not have a lot. You may not be rich. But you have contentment. You have a foundation. You have good family. And you have enough. And that's what you're thankful for. So when I split the deck again, Taurus, we have the six of pentacles in the upright with the mother of pentacles in the reverse. So I'm talking to Tauruses who may be giving more than you're receiving. Watch 
the energy, the time, and the money that you're giving to others, right? Remembering to put yourself first and remembering to stay in balance, right? You may have it, but you may need it for a rainy day, Taurus. So you can't help everybody, right? Everyone has to learn how to help themselves. Let's cut the deck. Taurus, your focus, the star, major arcana in the upright. Healing, hopes, dreams, wishing on a star, reconciliation, forgiveness. Okay. You also have the Three of Swords in the upright. You also have the Moon, Major Arcana in the upright. You also have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You also have the Five of Wands in the reverse. You also have the Hermit, Major Arcana in the reverse. You also have strength, major arcana in the reverse. Hmm. All right. So this will not resonate with everyone. This reading is for Tauruses who have gone through betrayal, deception, who have been set up, lied on, cheated on, stolen from, and you're wishing on a new direction. You wishing on someone that you can do hope and healing with, maybe even have a reconciliation with. Let's get into it. Your focus, the star. And the star is just that. It is wishing on a star. It is looking for reconciliation. It is looking for hope and healing in a situation. And for some of you, there is a star in your life. And you're hoping to Maybe connect with this star because this star is shining bright. It's bigger than all the other stars. It's almost like all these other options and other, star, other stars have fizzled away. But this one is shining bright. You also have the three. Okay, the three of swords fell on the ground, but it was still in the upright. You also have the three of swords. Well, we know with the three of swords, this is treachery. Betrayal, lies, cheating, manipulation, being stolen from, being gossiped about, right? Being entangled. Some of you are entangled. You not only are at third parties, but there's an entanglement, whether it's an entanglement with your money, entanglement with jobs, entanglement with situations. There are three or more who are involved. It's almost like everyone's feeling the karma. And you also have the moon, major arcana, the upright. What we know with the moon, this is secrets, hidden emotions, hidden feelings. But eventually, everything that's done in the dark, well, the divine has a way of bringing it to the light. And you also have the four of pentacles in the reverse. In the upright, the four of pentacles is holding on. Again, there's this web of weaving Holding on to pentacles, holding on to situations, holding on to others. And in the reverse, hopefully trying to come out of that. Trying to come out of these webs and bondage and ropes and chains. Hmm. And you also have the five of wands in the reverse. Now in the upright, the five of wands is... Everyone throwing their two cents in, or rather, everyone throwing their stick in. Everyone has an opinion, and you know what they say about that. Everyone has a suggestion. Everyone is telling you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, how much to do it. <laughs> I can't remember if that was in reverse, but it's still everyone being in the business. And you also have the hermit, major kind in the reverse. This is 
in the upright, going within. Going within to seek solitude. Going within to focus on healing. Focus on focusing in on what was done, how it was done, and maybe even how you allowed others to entrap you or deceive you. Trying to shine your light as much as possible, but feeling a little moody and in the reverse. This is staying stuck. Staying stuck in solitude, staying stuck in depression, staying stuck in anxiety, feeling like the world is against you when it's maybe only three people or maybe five people. Understanding that we must release that. And we also have the strength card, major arcana in the reverse. In the upright, this is a lion who is usually ferocious. <laughs> but in the upright, this lion is overcoming obstacles. And they're coming in divinely guided, firmly rooted with roses and chocolates and imitations. <laughs> but in the reverse, not wanting to deal with obstacles, not wanting to reveal the truth, staying stuck in low vibrational situations, people and things, confusion and not having clarity. Taurus on the board. We have wands, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have swords, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have pentacle, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have the moon, Cancer, and Pisces. We also have strength, Leo, and we also have uh, the hermit, uh, Virgo. And for me as a reader, Aquarius, and I'm sorry, we also have the star, Aquarius. So we have uh, four major Akana cards, which means there's been some type of divine lesson, divine timing, divine situation that we either walked into, we either allowed others to put us into, or the divine has stepped back and allowed us to learn a lesson. Hmm. Taurus, I do believe this is you. Some of you may have Leo on your chart or the person you're dealing with. But in the reverse, this is someone who's not able to overcome obstacles, someone who is living with shame and guilt. Someone who is not able to love and forgive themselves, because if you're able to love and forgive yourself, deal with mistakes, release that shame, bowing down to the Lord Almighty and asking for forgiveness, this is where you become firmly rooted again, where you become divinely guided. Where even though you're a lion on the outside to people, you can be gentle as a lamb. Because someone's looking for healing with a star. Matter of fact, the star, whether it's a career, it's a person, it's a new place or a new mindset or a new place to live, this star actually lights up this lion's life. This star brings illumination to new beginnings healing, hope, how great life could be. And maybe this star is someone who could hear this person out, Leo. Because in the past, you've dealt with treachery, manipulation, betrayal, schemes and plots against you, things to destroy you. And either you were entwined with these people in your work environment, through your pentacles, or even this is someone in your own home. I do see their secrets. Whatever these secrets are, they're deeply rooted because there's almost like three people are intertwined together. I'm gonna say more than three people because we have the four pentacles. And even though it's in the reverse, 
this four of pentacles is in a tangle web also. Bondage through secrets, bondage through manipulation, maybe even bondage through blackmail, bondage through some type of deception. Taurus, I do see you trying to release. And I can't remember if this Five of Wands was in the, I think it was in the upright, but I, I believe you want to release this drama, Taurus. Everyone being in your business, everyone talking about you, everyone trying to throw their sticks and their two cents in on your life, on what's happening in your life, or what's been done in your life. Because even the Hermit card is in the reverse. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius. Again, the moon is in the upright. So people are talking, but maybe they have the half truth. They don't have the full story. People are talking, or maybe they're assuming. People are talking, or maybe they're spreading lies and gossip. Again, Taurus, to destroy Destroy your foundation. Destroy your livelihood. And some of you, they may even destroy your pentacles. Because I see this is almost the energy of hiding. This is almost the energy of not wanting to be seen, not wanting to talk to anyone. But I tell you, Taurus, if you bow down to the Most High God, and you cry out for assistance and help and what you need, and you are sincere, this is where this healing and hope will come in. This is where the divine will show you that light. This is the, where the divine will show you that YouTube video to watch, that person in your life to pick up the phone and talk to, whether you're Catholic or not, where you can go into a church and sit in a pew by yourself or even ask someone in that church, whether that's that bishop or that priest to pray over you, finding the strength to take your power back, find the strength to heal yourself, Finding the strength to be this lying. Not allowing others to destroy you. Not allowing others to make you bow down to them. Understanding that it's time for your light to shine again, Taurus. It's time for you to take back your power. Be that ferocious lion and lioness that you are, that you always have been. And understanding that, yes, you may have been caught up in deception and situationships regarding money, regarding situations and people and places. But divine is timing us here. It's time to learn that lesson. Whether someone put you in that lesson or the divine allowed you to walk into it. It's time to learn this lesson, Taurus. And come back in the upright. <laughs> come back with hope and healing. Forgiving yourself so that you can move on. Releasing shame. Releasing guilt. And uh, let's get one more here. So we have surround yourself with protective energy. Yep, that's going within, All right? Even if you are in solitude, even if you're not answering your phone, even if you're not wanting to talk to anyone, going out in mother nature, making sure the sun shines on you. 
watching things that are positive, listening to positive music, reaching out to someone in your life who is positive, even if you haven't spoken to that person in a while. Again, walking into a Catholic church that is usually empty with pews with one or two people praying and bowing down at that altar where you know no one who will bother you. Using protective energy and doing the things you need to do to get out of that, that rut. And you also have the angel of reflection. Yeah. It's just this healing. Reflecting on what you were and what you used to do and what you used to be, but that's I'm talking to the Tauruses who are healing. I'm talking to the Tauruses who no longer want to live a low vibrational life. I'm talking to the Tauruses who are awakening to their power. And they're awakening to this power as this lion or this lioness, even though you are in the reverse, you're still powerful. I'm talking to Tauruses who are going to take their power back. They're going to bow down to the Most High God and request forgiveness, request assistance, and do the work this time. There's no half-stepping. It's time to do the work. Taurus, this is your reading. Uh, if I didn't say the dates, <laughs> from May the 15th through roughly June the 1st, please share, subscribe, comment, and like. And so, family, thank you so much for tuning in to Saggy Soul. And from one soul to another soul. I love you, soul family. Have a good week.